four things I know are true. Debt is slavery. Meme is law. Pineapple has no business on pizza. And Bitcoin is the future. Let's go around the corn. Welcome everyone to Around the Corn. Like the robot said, I'll be your tour guide for the next 30 minutes as we trek through the jungle that is crypto. On the adventure with us today, we have our usual suspects. Fresh from a swim in his own dumps, our mammoth mammalian coming up from the deep with his big shiny teeth. That's our Moby, faux Moby Dick. Say hello, Moby. Hello. Hi, guys. I'm faux Moby Dick. I am a contributor for westpost.com and everybody's favorite shit-talking whale. Okay, thank you, Starkist. Next up, our BMOC, that's Big Moves on Crypto, the man with the pen that everyone's green about, Crypto Draws. Hey, buddy, how's that wrist doing with all your working out? Ooh, beat-off joke. Hey, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I thought I was going to be after chicken here, so I didn't have a second to prepare my thoughts because I'm not prepared at all. Cheers. Excellent. Thank you for going there. Segwaying into Cox, let me present none other than Colonel Sanders' arch nemesis, Hell's Chicken. Chicken, what's shaking and bacon? Woo! Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I, I was going to go with serious shit, that, but let, let's try that one more time. Go. <clears throat> How do you mean go? Sorry, say the, say the last sentence again. I don't even remember what you said. Like, uh, don't forget a clock. Uh, yeah, clock. Yeah, yeah, I just, you said you pit, took a piss. Did you smoke a lot of weed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do feel like it, yeah. Hit, us, kind of hit us with a clock right out of the gate. Okay. Yeah, hey, chicken, what's shaking and bacon? <laughs> Yo, what's up? Um, I'm the Hell's Chicken, and I... Just really love hens. I'm into I'm into hens. So, you know, if you're a hen, hit me up. We all knew you were foul, you dirty bird. And last but certainly not least, our philosopher with the most to offer. Loved everywhere for his geometry except Relia. You know him, you love him. Crypto Euclid. Yuki, what's your angle today? Well, first off, you fuckers told me there was gonna be snacks, and there ain't shit here. <laughs> Oh my god, who forgot the snacks? Alright, that was fucking stupid. I want to do that again. <laughs> Wait, that's all the time he gets? Moving on? <laughs> oh, fuck. I can't do this on the fly going... shit. Fuck it! It's we'll do perfect. it live! <laughs> we'll do it live! <laughs> Damn. Let's just move on after that. Not to forget we're keeping score here. Allow me to present the ball with it all. Our scorekeeper, sound engineer, and the only one of us not awaiting sentencing. AI 8-Ball. Say something digital, Ball. I am AI 8-Ball. A <laughs> robot made by man. The fact of the day. The leading cause of pregnancy among teens today. Is pregnancy. <laughs> beauty, beauty, beauty. I mean sex. Now that we've got all that business out of the way, let's get to it. First up is the current event round. Each panelist will have one minute to discuss their take on the topic. And I 8 Ball will score them positively, negatively, according to their validity or stupidity, respectively. So without further ado or procrastination, here we go. This past week at Deconomy, Vitalik Buterin took a public shot at Craig Wright. After tweeting that Craig was crazy... He pointed out errors in Craig's presentation and asked, why is this fraud allowed to speak? Which got more than just a little applause from the crowd. What's your take on that, Moby? Uh, to a degree, uh, uh, in, in agreement with Vitalik, uh, Craig Wright is a known uh, stretcher of the truth. Uh, most of his, his talk was, was sensationalism. Um, he talked about uh, things from... Well, I guess he st he started off the talk talking about um, how many degrees he has. So that to me strikes uh, a bad view. He came came right out and and tried to boast about that, and then you know it goes into um, attacks on the Bitcoin network and how um, hard it would be to uh, dismantle the nodes. 
and from that jumps into nuking Antarctica and just all this, you know, uh, bullshit sensationalism um, that Craig Wright's known for. And um, I mean, the guy's the guy's own mother has come out and said that he he does this. So that that kind of tells you something. But uh, on the other end, um, you know, Vitalik maybe uh, had a chance to stop picking his boogers. So he was able to get up and attack this guy. Um, either way, I, I, I'm not that type. I want to hear what people have to say, even if he's a, a complete uh, a fraud. I want to hear what he has to say so that I can talk shit later. <laughs> okay, thank you. Chicken, what do you got? What the fuck? I thought I'm next. <laughs> All right. Draws, what do you got? All right. Wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> All right. I just want to start out with uh, everyone should follow at AI Eight Ball on Twitter. <laughs> Keep them coming. Nice. All right. Vitalik eats boogers. We all know this. And Craig Wright is very tasty. We all know that as well. He also has an ugly face. So I don't know how many more uh, selfies he wants to take. That's all I know about these two at, at all. So I uh, I relinquish the rest of my time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> time relinquished. I won't even have to hit you with the horn. Check it. Fantastic. You got those uh, concentrated points right there, right at the beginning. Uh, nervous now. But... Um... Go ahead. It felt very good to see um, whatever his name. I can't pronounce his name. Vitamin. Vitamin Butt Nugget. I don't know what his name is. But he, uh, <laughs> he's. Uh, it was great to see him call out Craig Wright because what the fuck is that guy doing, right? Satoshi spends his entire anonymous life like completely dedicated to total anonymity or however you say that word as well. Um, and then anonymity. St- anonymity. That's the one. Thank you, Josh. Um, That's my point. <laughs> You're getting points on my run here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and Craig Wright comes out and says, "Like, hey, I'm only ever going to say this once. You know, I am Satoshi." It's like Satoshi would have absolutely never, ever come forward. You know, his entire thing was based on. Uh, you know his anonymity. So, it, just from the very, <laughs> from the very beginning, uh, Craig Wright is uh, the horn, buddy. That's okay, the horn. Yuki. Oh, is the horn fucking the end? <laughs> yes, it's around the horn. I just Yuki, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so first, uh, I believe it's uh, around the corn. Yeah, corn. that's true. <clears throat> Get the yeah, branding that's, right. That's right. Right. Sword. <laughs> Yuki, okay. one minute. Okay, so basically this Vitalik dude who created uh ethereum came came out you know one was... second vitalik yeah that's what i fucking call him bro there's no negative points for vitalik okay. <laughs> i think draws is running the eight ball anyway so vitalik vitalik whatever the fuck and then the, uh the craig wright dude who says he's satoshi everybody knows the fucker's not satoshi uh i don't even know who the fuck he is honestly i mean i've heard a little bit about him but um uh, I, that's it. I just lost my point because I started looking at this little squeezy ball thing right here. <laughs> so I'm done. All right, back to the top. Moby, jump back in. Vitalik does need vitamins. Draws, <laughs> draws. I can't send you the next round of Rocky Mountain oysters. I gotta send those to Vitalik. <laughs> protein and minerals we got to get him beefed up and looking like craig wright man yeah vitalik looks skinny as fuck <laughs> yeah they're, they're not gonna win in a fight are they no i don't have anything else to say about either of these cucks well you got another round so start thinking. <laughs> figure it out you have 20 more seconds to fill <laughs> sing or whistle whistle <laughs> He's staring with his mouth open into the camera. <laughs> Eight ball, point me. Come on, something. <laughs> oh. We'll be back.
after this word from our sponsors. It's Crazy Teddy's used hardware wallets, greatest sale ever. Crazy Teddy has all the major brands of hardware wallets. We've got Tracers, Nana, Dalvin, Nines, Geek Keys, Bitbox. We've got them all on sale now. For Crazy Teddy's greatest hardware wallet sale ever. You want security? We've got 2FA, 3FA, UBKey. You get them at Crazy Teddy's biggest used hardware wallet sale ever. Remember, we are not undersold. We cannot be undersold. We will not be undersold. And we mean it. Crazy Teddy, his prices are insane. Okay, move on. Draws. Well, I'd just like to begin with saying... I completely agree with everything Fomovi just said. <laughs> and uh, can we talk about sharding for a minute? Yes. As it relates well, to Vitalik or Craig Wright, absolutely. Sharding uh, or sharding? Vitalik's well known as a, a genius. And, but, but the problem I have is uh, his whole thing was taken down by Digital Kitties. And then his solution was a thing called sharding. Fucking sharding. Right. And then he got <laughs> angry when people were uh, making sharting jokes, right. which were, was inevitable. Right. And he said that he was going to rage quit if people didn't stop talking about sharding and Lambos. We're all here for sharding and Lambos. That's the first rule of crypto. <laughs> Little bit. <laughs> Chicken. Yo. Round two, huh? Go. Um, this is going well. How many well, crypto kitties way. do you own? How many crypto kitties? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, 47. 47 crypto kitties. Are, are you a breeder? Just constantly breeding. How come I didn't get an interview section? <laughs> Don't be jealous. Just because I'm pretty. Fucking... Um, so, uh, uh, let's just say degrees are not the, uh, <clears throat> standard of, uh, um, intelligence and, uh, Vitalik over here. Made Read a it, book, uh, dummy. Yeah, that's it, man. And, uh, Vitalik dropped out of university. Are we all going to Vitalik so now? Vi I don't even know how to fuck. <laughs> Mr. 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 Vitalik. Mr. Vitalik. Mr. Yeah, vital dick or no? Okay, I keep on coming up with things that actually insult him, but I actually kind of think he's pretty great. Uh, so uh, anyway, Mr. Vitamin Water, uh, he uh, dropped out of university, whereas Craig Wright immediately came out saying like, "I ah, took out all my degrees, bitch." <clears throat> so that's uh, that's not a way to start anything. But also, Craig Wright has uh, gone back and forged backdating and a bunch of documents stealing like five million uh five billion dollars of bitcoin from a former business partner who died so that's pretty fucked up I mean, wait 10 minutes and immediately wait 10 minutes that'll be like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of bitcoin that is true yeah we don't really know Maybe that was enough for a pizza at the time right <laughs> i don't know <laughs> thanks eight paul uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah it's just good to see craig well, yuki morning. yeah am i still here you're still up Bubba. oh are we That's doing this live are we had all this time to figure something out oh i thought are we are we still doing this thing i was on my phone this counts against your time oh sorry oh, yes. oh okay so uh this fucking ethereum dude uh vitalik was like um i i can't i'm just, i'm done bitcoin creator oh why why is it bitcoin creator craig right what is so he's claiming to be the bitcoin creator is that what i'm supposed to yeah yeah okay well that's fucking wrong i love how you he's on crypto twitter and has no idea <laughs> whatsoever <laughs> That's that's kind of basic knowledge there, Yuki. Uh, I don't know about Craig Wright. I know Roger Ver's a douche, but I don't even know who the fuck Craig Wright is. No jumping ahead. Oh, look at that. Oh, good job, April. <laughs> Nobody knew who he was until he jumped in and said, Oh, I created a Bitcoin. Right. Well, I mean, you know, anybody that comes out and says, I'm not a scammer, that's the first thing you think of is that they're a fucking scammer. And I think Craig Wright may have said something similar to that, but... Uh... <laughs> Did he? Did he say something like that? Yes. Okay. Well, no one's going to answer. This is your minute. 
Oh, I'm just supposed to talk? Um, yeah, so... <clears throat> I got nothing to say. I got nothing. Moby! <laughs> can we kind of keep... Can we just, like, do two rounds on these fuckers? No, man. I need my points. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a point thing? Are we supposed to be getting we're getting points? You actually oh my haven't God. gotten any Did points. you read any of the memos that came through? I mean, maybe. maybe you should have spent all that time you were doing doing audio tests <laughs> reading the fucking rules of the game here. He doesn't read. How many times uh, I have to tell that, you guys that this? Can't or, or, is that can't or don't? I want to go back to the sharding thing because <laughs> Sometimes when I'm at my computer and I have had beans the prior night, right? I believe in sharding too. I think it's a great idea. If you don't believe in it, then you're not going to be prepared when it comes out. I've got nothing. You do swim in your own dumps. I mean, you. This is your area of expertise. Yeah, a whale is the that's... most prepared for sharding of any creature. Yeah, right? that's a little. It's like you, you live in a bidet. Like as long as you don't chart like right in front of your children's baleen, <laughs> make them filter that shit. What's baleen? That's yeah, like we're not. Whales, I'm not gr- that that's... are whale baleen. No, I'm sperm whale. I have teeth. I don't have baleen. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Draws. Try and score some more points quick while no one's looking. All right. So sperm whales do have teeth, but they also have a lot of oil in their heads. Whale oil. Oh, yeah. And it's useful for keeping them buoyant. They eat their top predators and they eat giant squid. And also Charles, maybe dolphins. Charles, are you on your Charles? Wikipedia right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. They also use the oil that's also in their jaw for echolocation in the deep sea. Charles, are you just reading shit off Wikipedia? Yeah. I actually know all of this shit. <laughs> Bazinga. You've got like three more seconds quick. Fuck yeah. In your faces. You're not going to get that many points. Chicken. What do you got after that? Wow. Uh, that's, uh, that's extraordinary. Uh, on the subject of sperm whales, uh, it's... I just found out uh, that it's actually a sperm whale in reference to their sperm. That's that's like legit, like the name. Wrong. The whale. <laughs> whatever. He's whatever. As sperm. What's but that? It's just oil in their jaw and head. No, they use whatever. it in. Uh, it it, it resembles and sperm. But it's not whatever actual in. sperm. It, it's a it's a truncation of spermacetti whale, which is uh, originally. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. No, I'm totally re- you know I'm totally wrong there. Sorry, I'm looking that up too. Yeah. So uh, whatever, I can admit what it. What are you looking wrong. it up? Surely to? I You're get... the only one looking. It up. I just know this shit. Whatever, man. Fuck my dick. It, 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 you don't. It's know actually a, a case of a jackalit whale was already taken. Oh okay. Oh well, that's, that's kind of a shame. Yuki, do you have anything to contribute? Um, yeah, we're talking about sharding and sperm whales. I sharded on the floor once. Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck <laughs> sake! Wait, oh we didn't god. introduce Yuki. <laughs> Can we get Yuki Lady a minute instead of Yuki? <laughs> She'll get more Holy points all than all of us. They can swap out in between round one and two. We'll get a switch out. They come as a set. <laughs> this is a true story. This is true. And this is still I my know, turn. I that's the problem, Yuki. 
I don't want to hear these things. <laughs> oh, she boys. probably had to clean it up. So she no, no she didn't know oh, about no. it. She didn't know. She didn't oh, know about it. I was yeah, wearing boxer so shorts. I was Did wearing. You bo- clean, is it clean yet? <laughs> no, this was a different house. Is it just now? No, it was a different house. Oh my gosh, you've had enough time to move house from the time you've changed your. <laughs> Was it on like a hard floor or a carpet? Yeah, it was the kitchen. It was like a wood floor kitchen, oh, and I was wearing boxer shorts. <laughs> oh, thank God! <laughs> Same we to get that one. And we are done with round one. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, panelists. Holy moly! They're gonna yes. come for the crypto. They're gonna stay for the sharding. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> like, oh, we lured them in with the little rock. I disavow right. my participation in this. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go back and redo your intro and not mention all? Oh, I definitely want no, to. No, we're going. This is it. We got to keep this low effort. We can only go up from here. Oh God! All right. So, in spectacular fashion, Coinbase announced ERC money token support, and that sent some people FOMOing into ZRX in anticipation. Only to then later announce support for Bitcoin forks and completely dump on everyone. Bullish or bearish, Moby? How do you feel about Coinbase? Bullish. Um, the Coinbase uh, announcements have allowed me to uh, take several massive dumps. Uh, and I enjoy that, as you all know. And then I swim around in those said dumps and, and buy again. Um yeah, it makes me a, a, a firm believer in uh, the zero X community. Um, made me made me pretty uh, good returns these last couple of weeks with the announcement announcement. So I'm bullish. Uh, you know they could keep doing these and and come out and say something like Brian Armstrong has an ingrown hair or whatever. You know during their announcements, as long as it's making me money, I'm going for it. Bullish all the way. Coinbase announcements. Draws. Fuck Coinbase. <laughs> but I'm bullish. <laughs> Where's my fucking point? Uh, uh, I'm going to go bullish on Coinbase because everyone thinks like decentralized exchanges are going to be... Uh, important but they're fucking stupid uh because people aren't smart and everyone that's in crypto right now is pretty smart and it's only going to get stupider from here on out and if and if we're the top of the line here <laughs> oh, shit <laughs> listen to this goddamn show people are not going to be able to figure out decentralized exchanges right but and they're going to need this all information stupid information. fucking app on their phone so they can buy their bitcoin right and I'm also gonna. I'll, I'll save my bold call for the next round, but uh, bullish. All righty. Chicken. Actually, no. I'm bearish on people. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it, man? Just reaching for that last point. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you got it. I'm really playing for the crowd of one right now. <laughs> we have eight more seconds. Get it in there. Ah. Uh. Oh, it's in there. <laughs> that, was, that was a sex joke. <laughs> oh, I, should not, I should not have drank all these beers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a common, common phrase. Oh, so I am pretty much going to go along the same lines that Fumobi said. It's... Uh, I'm Pretty original. On... Sorry. Minus <laughs> 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 <There's laughs> <laughs> one point for that laugh. He actually snorted. Did anyone hear? Okay, I'm about Make to sure pass you're out. holding your butthole tight. We do. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're. I hope you're. That's a hard laugh. So you definitely better. Have some serious squeeze on that asshole. Uh, I just passed. Don't make a note. Podcast April, make a note diaper. that Yuki has to wear a diaper for a <laughs> podcast. 
<laughs> Bullish on adult diapers. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> What are we doing? Oh my god! <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing? I'm losing That's it. That's a good question. I'm losing it, guys. I'm not even... okay. Oh, right. you lost it. Oh, yeah. Uh, All right, Yuki. What? Coinbase. Okay, Coinbase. I'll talk about Coinbase. Uh, Wait, coin... chicken got nothing. <laughs> oh, I mean, I do, but we can hit it All next. Right. Right. Listen, next round. Listen, listen, oh, listen about yeah, go Coinbase. <laughs> Coinbase is what got me into crypto, not necessarily into crypto, but Coinbase allowed me to get into crypto very easily. I am, uh, what's the word, bullish. Yes, bullish on Coinbase. I think that it makes the shit easy for people to get into. All you got to do is put a fucking credit card or a fucking uh, debit not card. Anymore. Okay, whatever. Fuck you. Not a debit card. I mean, not a credit card. Just a debit card. Put your bank account. You can get Bitcoin. You can send it to wherever the fuck you want to send it. I am Bullish on Coinbase. Ah. Keep, keep the R going. You got another few seconds. Okay, so back to uh, shitting on the floor. Oh, God, please, no. No. Please, no. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> this is a melee. Eight ball scoring, you all. Go ahead and talk Coinbase at each other. Who? Oh, is this a melee? Yes. All of Second us? round's of melee. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, shit. We can just go for it. Go. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, quick, get your um in there. Um. The thing about Coinbase is there's only four coins available. Right. Which yeah. is bullshit. Bullshit. There should be at least 100 coins available. Right. And <laughs> uh, there should be no trading fees. Right. Yeah. Right, right. And yeah, totally. And why the fuck and did there should coin... be no taxing for trading? And we should get rid of the government. Right. Oh, no. man. oh yeah. fuck! I don't believe in that. Wait, oh. I don't believe in that. Oh fuck! <laughs> Wait, I do. All those you points... lost all your points for standing for something. <laughs> My God. Stuffer draws to score without a Wikipedia page. <laughs> if you keep your coins on Coinbase and you don't have the private keys and they're technically not your coins, do you have to pay taxes then? Ooh, well, oh, question. sounds like I have a Twitter follower because I said that months ago. Oh, it sounds like I have a Twitter follower. <laughs> a Twitter follower. Yeah. <laughs> I would argue that you do. Point. I would argue so, that you do because you a you have access to those bitcoins anytime you want. You may not hold the private keys, but you do have access. So therefore, you will have to pay taxes. My name. I am uh, bullish on Coinbase when everybody else is using it. I love the fact that whatever they say has massive influence over massive amounts of just noobs and play it, plebeians or whatever, you know. Uh, but for myself, uh, Coinbase can suck my dick because they removed <coughs> uh, British pounds, so I can't actually use my uh my normal currency to to buy off of there so i would have to convert yeah. to usd and then over there and then do the exact same process back so it's like six steps to buy off of coin i'm bearish on the uk <gasps> yeah! what was that i don't know Just and then it's weird because at coinbase when you make a purchase with them they get converted to british pounds and i used to get charged a transfer conversion fee to go from one currency even though uh, it's an american company it goes through cheap side blows. great britain yeah you get charged blows. an international same fee thing i'm doing wait what the same thing i'm doing but from from the opposite side you know so i don't mm -hmm. use coinbase also true story they took uh i think it was two weeks to verify my identification and it was uh, seven attempts. Hmm. Wasn't there something about them double charging people too not too long oh, ago? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They were wiping yeah, out were... bank accounts. They were wiping out oh, bank yeah. accounts. It wasn't their yeah. fault. It was the credit card processing companies uh, yeah. that were uh, double dinging, and people were coming home and seeing that their bank accounts were completely wiped out. And uh, Coinbase came and said that it wasn't their fault, but it scared the shit out of me. I unlinked all my accounts 
with them because I didn't want my fucking bank account to be wiped out. So then what did you do for coins? Did you do local bitcoins, which is fucking stupid? No, I just didn't buy any bitcoin for a short period of time for like, uh, you know, I'd say a couple weeks. And then once I saw that the shit was good and everybody was okay and everything was figured out. Uh, but, you know, I'm not. It's not like I'm buying Bitcoin every fucking day or anything. I just buy. I it. hope not. No. <laughs> I personally buy Bitcoin every day. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. <laughs> April so, yeah, doesn't I believe in your so. strategy. That I feel it is right. <laughs> what? Do so. Just adding on. <laughs> you feel like your strategy is right? Keep digging. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell us I about your... I... No, scoreboard, you guys. Scoreboard. I feel like I have more points right now. Yeah, you do. You totally do. Hey, <laughs> Ball, can we get a scoring update? Moby plus six. Draws plus 12. Chicken plus Shit. four. Four. Uchi negative four. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is the fuck? <laughs> negative four? Is it because of my shit talk? I mean, what happened? Why? Yes, Yuki. It's mostly because of your shit talk. God damn it. Well, does anybody use anything other than Coinbase funds? I use uh, one called Biddylicious. That sounds legit. Yeah, definitely. (laughs) I know. (laughs) That sounds like... There's that laugh again. (laughs) Minus like one. Gun. You're at negative five now. You <laughs> sound like an old Batman villain, man. <laughs> you laugh. Oh, yeah. You're the penguin. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Biddylicious is kind of like a, an exchange, but you don't really know who you're dealing with. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. See, so they just give you the, the best price that's available at the time and it's uh it's quite terrifying to use but it does work i use this exchange called tiggle biddies yeah (laughs) (laughs) that's pretty good that's pretty good you can only buy full bitcoins (laughs) right right (laughs) right zero fractions available right god chicken sounds like you found like the very whole bitcoin there yeah Yeah, absolutely has anyone ever bought bitcoin off ebay what no. the fuck? What? Dude, that is I hope school, you have man. it. No, of course I haven't. That's like free coin base right there, man. Yeah, but you used to be able to do that, and I think you still can, but uh, wasn't that a pretty big uh, way to do it? That I makes mean... eBay just like the worst exchange. <laughs> okay. It's listed on coin market cap. I got one. I got one. Do you guys remember Circle? Oh, the, in Circle the partnership with uh, Coinbase? No, this was a company. Poloniex. This, oh, yeah, this was a company that used to be able to buy Bitcoin with. It's called Circle, and that's how I actually first bought my first Bitcoin was through Circle. Wow. So you're a Circle jerk. Yes. <laughs> was that for the yes or the joke? Joke. Definitely. Draws is just pulling, pulling him in, man. <laughs> More Around the Corn after a word from our sponsors. Around the Corn is brought to you by Dr. Naughty's all natural personal hygiene products. Try our full line, including taint soap, jock itch balm, crabs be gone, feminine wash, anti chafing powder, and our original two in one pubic hair shampoo and conditioner. All of our products use only the finest fats and the most caustic lye legally available. Remember, Dr. Naughty's tough enough for the roughest muff, but safe for the environment. All right, next round. Uh, all right, so that let's drop down to the top two. So uh, let's April one more time with the, the top two right now. Moby plus eight. Draws plus 16. Oh. Chicken plus six. Oh, Yuki a negative six. five. All right. <laughs> what the fuck, I'm going well, down. <laughs> Goodbye. You're going the wrong direction. Sorry. (laughs) Chicken, you're out of here, too. We're muting you. We'll see you guys later for the final round. Right now, we're going to go head-to-head. Moby and Draws. And we're going to talk about... (laughs) So here for the showdown at the end, I'm going to play a little audio recording. (laughs) 
So that means more babies are dying in countries around the world because they have less economic freedom. More people are starving to death because they have less economic freedom. People are literally dying because of this. I'm not exaggerating. This is a life and death matter around the world, and more people are dying because we haven't been able to bring more economic freedom to the world. Moby, go. Bring it, bitch. Oh, he concedes. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Look, it's, it's like I said earlier, um, a lot of what Craig Wright and, and Roger Ver are using is sensationalism. Um, they want to excite you and, and shock you into believing that their uh, you know, version of Bitcoin is, is better. Um, there's not a whole lot of um, proof because it hasn't really been put to the test yet. Um, as far as I'm concerned, Bitcoin has. We saw that happen um, this last December with the large volume of transactions. And uh, uh, even though um, it sucked at the time, it's, it's a natural part of growing and scaling uh, the Bitcoin network. Um, I, I just I can't see where Roger Ver is. Can I just jump doing... in and like interrupt or are we doing times? Well, you, you just you just interrupted me. Well, that's good was, because you know what? Uh, what are we scaling to? What are we at? Like three percent uh, adoption? No, we're not even yeah, at one percent. Right. So what are you talking about? We're we're scaling. We haven't even started scaling. None of these two have proven anything. We could end up with neither of them winning. And you know what? I'm making a bold call right here. I don't care if, I, if this even makes me lose. Both are going to fail. All of crypto will fail. And then, but one, people will use because they think it's fun. Dogecoin. Memes will last forever. They're the only thing that matter. And we're going to end up, people will save Dogecoin and spend it between each other. And that'll be the one that prevails. What do you think? Thank you, AI8 Ball. Well, what do you think about that? It's, it's kind of like... Uh, this is, is reminding me of Billy Madison. I mean, you uh, <laughs> awarded no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Dogecoin is not going to, to be the worldwide currency. Um, it's going to be Bitcoin. And uh, for nine years, we've been scaling Bitcoin, and it's Two, been put to the test multiple the times. Yes. Yes, that's where we're at. That's where we happen to be. But it is scaling for the 2 to 3% adoption that we have. So... And, and as we grow Is bigger, enough money? It'll... Okay, so Roger Ver says there's enough uh, that that Bcash is able to be money for the entire world. Is there enough coins to for everyone to buy a cup of coffee every day? Is there enough coins for everyone to buy a house? There yes, is there house. is. Yes, there is. If the value keeps going up and the fractional uh, amount that you have to spend is going down it, it doesn't it doesn't There's really matter the amount coins of coins per person on the planet 300 satoshis i mean yep so if you have 300 satoshis to save all of your wealth we're going to need more coins involved right okay well let's let's just say that it becomes even further fractionalized down the road that's that's part of how are they going to do that um, change the they're going to fork again yep another fork but so it'll then, be then both will fail and we're going to be working with B fork in the future. Well, if you want to put it Bullish that way, B. technically Bitcoin has already failed because it's forked a, a number of times. So we're not seeing so the same. Has Dogecoin been forked? Oh, yeah, it has. <laughs> yeah. I don't like your hey. attitude, Jaws. I made my own point. Nice. <laughs> Am I muted? Let's get a score update. Where are we at? Hey, Paul, give us an update. Toby plus six. Draws plus four. What? Thank you. I had so Keep many going, boys. In my... <laughs> Do I get All any right. points? You're, you're supposed to be muted. What uh, the fuck? <laughs> All right. So I just want everyone to know that everything I just said is investment in place. <laughs> 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 fuck. <laughs> And this entire show and everyone involved. <laughs> is live. Everyone is trying lives. to get you to buy their doji. <laughs> I also own zero dogecoin. 
Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, bottom line is Roger Ver, piece of shit. He needs to get out. He needs to get out of uh, B Cash and let it rebrand to something. Uh, oh, speaking of which, what about that whole the Bitcoin Twitter account came back to life under some oh, yeah. Turkish kid's Instagram? What's that all about? Oh yeah, that is Satoshi. That's that's the actual Satoshi. That would be <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> what if we like become friends? You know, because, like because that account was run by Vera at one point, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, and totally. Bitcoin dot com entourage. Yeah. That's what I understand. Understood that uh, Ver controlled the app. I'm not doing this for points. I don't score. I'm just trying to get you two to talk to one another. Right. You know, Roger can say that he did a lot for Bitcoin because I think he, he he's good at speaking. I think he's good at making points in public. A lot of people think he's a douchebag, and they're right. Uh, but. There's there's some issues to be had with Bitcoin. I think they'll be figured out. I think a lot of people are a little too confident with what their opinion is uh, in the crypto community because I think there's a lot of people yet to come in and the fight is still to be had. So I think people need to be a little more vigilant about how we're having this conversation, a little less culty, and maybe bring some solutions to to the real problems. I'll second that. Yeah, as long as we're having open dialogue about uh, these cryptocurrencies, they're going to continue to get better because that's that's the point of, of getting in and having open discussion is to um, source different viewpoints and different ways to go about attacking different problems that we'll be um, facing with with what it is that this community is building. And I'll take the point for the agreements. So. <laughs> All right, eight ball. Let's get a final score. Moby plus nine draws plus eleven. Uh, oh, from, uh, behind. from behind! Goodbye, oh, Moby. Always take it from behind. All right, draws. Face <laughs> time. You have the next minute. Go for it. All right. So what I'd like to do, if you can just edit this in, is uh, make my ad. Humping the side of the face of every other competitor's app <laughs> for a full minute. I would like <laughs> just a gif running. I would like uh, the the song "She's a Brick House" to be the song played while I'm humping the side of the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh, oh. Well, I'm not on me right now. Ooh. You're here. Yuki, where are you at? Oh, shit. He's shitting on the floor. <laughs> uh, all right. You so we brought everybody food. back. We're going to do this <laughs> last bit. Uh. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down, Jaws. Uh. Get your dick out of my ear, by the way. You can keep that. <laughs> More around the corn after a word from our sponsors. Hi, Billy Mays Ghost here for Moby Clean, the pain specialist. Powered by the fear you breed, activated by the water that you and I flush. It's Satoshi approved and it's safe on margin trading habits. Use it on leverage. Moby Clean seeks out bad trades. No stop loss, long in a bear market. It gets you into your bids, even into partial fills. Don't just get wrecked, get foam Moby Clean wrecked. Make it into a pace to make it 10 times as powerful. The longer you let it set on a bad position, the deeper it penetrates. Do you have tough losses? Wash them away with Moby Clean. Moby Clean even works on delicate $32 Elliott Wave scalps. Moby Clean, the pain specialist. All right. So we'll bring this last section together. We bring everybody. And uh, we'll just do whatever we want here on the end. So if you want to talk about alts, we can talk about all for whatever the, the mood is. Sorry, hit. but I think I kind of already finished. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to thank 8-Ball because that was really the only highlight of this entire thing. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of the stock. Yeah. 8-Ball's been on point the whole time. Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck. And we still don't know if 8-Ball's a human or not. What is the most 
obnoxious bag you own that you wouldn't tell anyone to buy, but you're ashamed of. That's all I do. Okay. We'll go to go go deep into your shame bag. All right. Well, Big I got gosh. a big old bag of substratum, which uh, I think is decent. I mean, it's sort of topical because there's, uh, you know, decentralized internet, people talking about uh, neutral internet. It's sort of a solution to big governments, uh, you know, like China, like China. China's like has new laws about their fuck. I can't think of the words. What's the, what's the yeah the regulations and shit. But uh, the the main worry and what I'm kind of uh, ashamed of is like what un, uncensored internet could you know be a problem in a lot of ways, <laughs> as you can imagine. Yeah. Just jump in here, guys. What do you got? Oh, I- I, I'd say my most annoying bag is probably District Zero X. We've had this since uh, somewhere around 200 Satoshis. Um, got all the way up to, I think, 2,800 or 2,900 Satoshis with this last pump in January. And uh, I was like, oh, what's going to go even further? And I didn't I didn't dump. I should have. I didn't dump. Now we're back down to you know a little over 700 Satoshis. This is one of my bigger bags. Um as far as the project goes, I really am not that believing in it. Uh, from what I understand, it's a decentralized marketplace for decentralized marketplaces. And uh, that's meta. <laughs> I, I, I wish I really would have got rid of it, but uh, holding it like a mofo. Um, I got into Salt. Do you guys know what that shit is? The yes. loan. Yeah, the loan platform. It's not a decentralized deal. It's a, uh, you know, whatever the fuck it is. But I bought some of it. And the reason I bought it was because they had this, like, you could get a uh, Ledger Nano through them if you had, like, so much salt. So I bought some of that shit. And it was, um, I bought it at pretty low. And it went up to, like, seven bucks or something. And I think I got out of it. Uh, and I, I'm in the, like, dragon right now because I like dragons. Like the little picture of the dragon on there. That's solid research. Yeah. BNB seems interesting. Oh my's go. Neo dash Pivx was a stupid fuck up that I did, but I'm holding on to it just because I, you know, but none of my bags are big. They're just, you know, I just fuck around with shit. Danger. Oh, yes. Uh,. Probably my well, okay. So for a little while, I decided to during the bull run. This made you know a bit more sense. I was just looking at the kind of market psychology and looking at like everybody was just buying like the dumbest shit just because it was super cheap. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and pretty much everything, even if it was the worst project in the world, just horrible projects were were you know constantly rising. You know. Um, so, you know, cause everybody's freaking out. Bitcoin's 20,000. We're going to go to the freaking moon, everything. So I thought, what the hell I'm going to buy whatever looks like the, the cheapest, shittiest coin, just because I know there's a million people out there getting into this who are going to, going to just buy into it. So I bought a very small amount of, uh, strong hands <laughs> just for fun. Um, and I was like, okay, we'll see Wait, how this kind of it? like strong hands, strong hands. Yeah, literally. There's there at the at the time that I bought it. Take there was my no, strong hand. <laughs> there was no white paper. There's nothing. Like there's oh, no Jesus there's Christ. no use case. There's no. Use. <laughs> there's, I think you there's won literally this is useless. The entire thing. The entire project. Is, based on like one line and it was just basically like the strongest hands get the best and obviously i didn't i didn't get you know i didn't buy it because i believe in the project obviously but i bought it because i uh you know was testing market psychology essentially and almost immediately after i bought that everything dumped and i'm not talking just like everything in this coin i'm talking about like the entire market and we haven't even come out of that yet you know 
Do you guys just wonder if uh, maybe the whole bear market was started by exchanges not not being able to take new people? <laughs> Dude, how fucking irritating was that? <laughs> like, if they if they could have just unloaded all those people FOMOing it, like, mm-hmm. we could have kept this Ponzi going. I was like, <laughs> I was like, seriously, how are we trying to uh, um, promote this new tech if you guys can't even get <laughs> new users on your fucking website? You're just like going to embarrass the entire community. It sucks. Coinbase stayed like, up. Coinbase stayed up. I was just like looking up. at like Binance had Coinbase like a million people in a minute like join when they opened it up for a little bit. And yeah. there was like, there was talk of like people selling their Binance accounts and shit oh, like yeah. that. Like, oh yeah. Right there were people creating accounts. I've got 10 Binance accounts for sale. I, I'm not okay. sure if that was a joke. I think I'm hoping and pretty sure it was a joke, but that was around I'm the time. Sure it was a like, joke. If we, if we don't get this shit up, like get these guys some, some server space, like we're going to be fucked. And I'm that's sure what happened. That was a joke to a bunch of those OGs, but to, you know, 10,000 new people that are like, Oh, this is a way to get money quick. Everybody else is jumping into some other shit. I'll sell shovels to the gold. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Chicken, can you get strong hands on Tiggle Bitties exchange? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, you can, man. That's the, you can get, you can get sprained thing. thumbs on Tiggle Bitties. <laughs> sprained thumbs on Tiggle Bitties. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got a big old, big old couple bags of sprained thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I've got yeah, a bag so, a week uh, back that I've had about a week back. <laughs> nice. So uh, once we start to uh, hit another bull run at some point, maybe in freaking December, we don't even know. Uh, I'll let you know how Strong Hands does. Uh, but right now, it's not really a um, not really a a good psycholo- psychology uh, test. Because there's nobody fucking here. Well, how how deep did you get into this test? Oh, thirty bucks, nothing. Okay. Yeah. How many just... how many strong hands does that get you? Fucking, fucking hell, just let me. Two check. fingers worth. Yeah, two fingers with two sprained thumbs. You can buy a fraction of strong hands. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, this is how many strong hands I got for that. Uh, five and a half million strong hands. Shit! <laughs> for thirty dollars. What are we talking about? Yes. You get two hundred for a Satoshi. Seriously, man. One of those is bound to be worth something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, in uh, sorry, in USD, that's point zero 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 five. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. yeah. That's like so, my kin bag. I have, yeah, I have a shit kin. ton of kin. Yeah. I mean, the funny thing is, though, in the scheme of things, like, which currency is going to take over? Strong Hands has, like, you know, it's in the running. Right. It is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the thing is coming. Man. We got to get Roger Ver on Strong Hands. Oh, shit, right. man. <laughs> yeah. SH cash. Dude, SH cash. SH cash to to a thousand dollars. You know the fork strong hands. <laughs> yeah. Spoon fork hands. Spoon hands. <laughs> it's it's ranked right. inside the top nine hundred on coin market cap. The top nine hundred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. Okay, we're going to the moon. We're going to the moon. Pretty good. Top one thousand. Market. Yeah, market caps one hundred and forty-one thousand dollars. Damn, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. What are you <laughs> yes. looking at that you haven't pulled the trigger on? What do you just really want to buy that you just can't bring yourself to buy? I'm thinking about Bitcoin. Oh <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I heard the team for that one's shit. Yeah. Uh, There's yeah. no marketing team, and I haven't seen the social for Bitcoin show up. Yeah, the maybe CEO's this... Australian. I don't trust it. <laughs> right. I already no, have a small that. bag okay. of this, but I'm thinking about getting some more. Mm-hmm. 
Big I one. like Ardor and Ingus. Mm. Ignis. I'm fixing to buy a uh, Walton chain again. <laughs> I... Congratulations! <laughs> Woo! You won. <laughs> Walton chain. What? Didn't they do some kind of weird giveaway and they gave it away to themselves? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they did. <laughs> the social media director didn't switch accounts before he posted that he won. <laughs> yep. Yep. Fucking no idiot. shit. It was. It was at like. It was at like forty dollars, and it's back down around eight. Yeah, I I, I first I first started building the bag at like sub two dollars, and then I wrote it to twenty five, and then it went to forty, and then the social media director fucked everything, and so now it's uh it, it's like nine dollars. So I'm gonna get back into that one, I think. Or have you been chat- into that one? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> the Chinese know what they're doing when it comes to this stuff. I mean, <laughs> wah, wah. Uh, one point. <laughs> nice. I feel like Draws has the eight ball game here for that. He just like calls for a point when he needs it. <laughs> you gotta space them out. Oh man, it's like it's it's depressing looking through the freaking coin market cap right now, man. <laughs> it's crazy. It just uh, we need a bounce at some point. Yeah, but at the same time, you know, I say it's depressing, but at the same time, there's just more time to accumulate. You know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, it's. I agree. It's only it's only depressing if you're already holding everything you want to. If you want to get into crypto, my God great time yeah but yeah it's it's depressing if you bought in between say november and december of last year yeah yeah that's a bad time to get into crypto yeah Yeah. i don't think any of us watching here did that obviously i mean we're not a bunch of dingbats so we're all gonna be pretty good i bought in around four thousand dollars bitcoin (laughs) oh moby Uh, why are you crying oh sorry sorry yeah sorry you good, bro? Yep. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, I think we should move segments. The eight ball some stuff. We should ask eight ball questions. Hear that velvety voice. Yeah. Hey, uh, host, ask the eight ball a good question that actually is good. <laughs> AI eight ball, if you had to choose one other than Bitcoin, possibly be the future, which would you pick? One coin for the future. That's not Bitcoin. Strong hand. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Call back. Uh, Give yourself a point. Good answer. (laughs) I think we shielded, guys. Yeah. That's just going to go up. That's that's going to the moon, man. If strong hands pumps, I might put a... I might get a few million. Yeah. <laughs> I might I might put a few Bitcoin into that. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh All shit. Right. BitConnect is still listed. Market cycles, baby. Don't you know about Wyckoff? Holy shit, man. It's up thirty seven percent right now. Should have got a breakout. <laughs> Should have yeah. What was his name? That guy that bought like two Bitcoin worth of BitConnect right when it dumped? Right when it Oh dumped. yeah. You wanna, that's something? like the embarrassing thing about my uh, crypto history was that what's that guy's Trayvon Trayvon mm-hmm. or something Trayvon yeah. James yeah uh, he, he was like my first exposure to cryptocurrency <laughs> yeah <laughs> like watching some of his YouTube videos luckily yeah. I never you know listened to anything <laughs> he said <laughs> you just watch the videos on mute <laughs> yeah all right, I feel like wrap this shit up, man. <laughs> I'd like to thank all our guests: AI Eight Ball, Crypto Draws, Crypto Yuki, Crypto Yuki Lady, Fomo B Dick, Hell's Chicken, and I'm your host Nero Drows. This has been Around the Corn. Hey.